Sunday within the octave of Ascension, May 16th, 2021, morning meditation. Meditations are taken from Meditations and Readings for Every Day of the Year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, First Choices Teacher in Moral Theology. Act of faith in the presence of God, in nomine Patria, Fili, Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Most holy, adorable, and undivided Trinity, one God in three persons, I believe that thou art here present. I adore thee with the deepest humility, and render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thy sovereign majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. St. Alphonsus de Liguori, pray for us. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for, saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win. Act of humility, litany of humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being culminated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged. Deliver me, Jesus. And the fear of being suspected, deliver me, Jesus. That others may be loved more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I set aside, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be praised and I unnoticed, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask your guidance in this, our morning meditation, through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever virgin. Ave Maria, gratia, pana dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, sin benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mata Dei, ora per nobis peccatoribus, nuc in hora mortis nostra. Amen. In honor of Saint Joseph, our guardian angel and all the saints, we pray Gloria Patria Filio, Spiritus Sancto, Sicut Erat in Principio, nuc et Semper, in Secula Seculorum. Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Ghost. Grant that same spirit that we may be truly wise, ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Morning meditation. Divine love, a fountain that satisfies. Riga quote, quod est aridum. God who loves us and desires to see us happy cries out and makes known to all, quote, If any man thirst, let him come to me, unquote, and I will give him the Holy Ghost who will make him blessed in this life and in the next. Riga quod est aridium. O oh, my Jesus, I beseech thee, give me the water of thy love, which will make me forget the earth and live for thee alone, who art the infinitely amiable one. Love is called a living fountain, fire, charity, fons, vivos, ignis, charitas. Our blessed Redeemer said to the Samaritan woman, quote, But he that shall drink of the water that I shall give him shall not thirst forever. 
John 4, 13. Love is the water which satisfies our thirst. For he that truly loves God with his whole heart neither seeks nor desires anything else, because in God he finds every good. Hence, happy in possessing God, he frequently exclaims with joy, My God and my all. Almighty God complains of many who seek for the fleeting, miserable pleasures from creatures and leave him who is infinite goodness and the fountain of all joy. Quote, they have forsaken me, the fountain of living water, and have digged to themselves cisterns, broken cisterns, that can hold no water. Jeremiah 13, 2, 13. Meanwhile, God, who loves us and desires to see us happy, cries out and makes known to all, quote, if anyone thirst, let him come to me. John 17, verse, John 7, verse 37. He who desires to be happy, let him come to me, and I will bestow upon him the Holy Ghost, who will make him blessed, both in this life and in the next. Domine da mihi hanc aquam. Lord, give me of this water. John 4, 15. O Jesus, with the Samaritan woman, I beseech thee, give me of this water of thy love which will make me forget the earth and live only for thee alone, who art the infinitely amiable one. Rigaquat est aridium. My soul is a barren soil, which produces nothing but the weeds and thorns of sin. O oh, water it with th thy holy grace, that it may yield some fruit to thy glory before it leaves this world in death. He then that believes in Jesus Christ and loves him, shall be enriched with so many graces that from his heart shall spring up fountains of holy virtues, which shall not only preserve his life, but also give life to others. And indeed, this water is the Holy Ghost, the sustaining love which Jesus Christ promised to send from heaven after his ascension. Quote, now this is said of the Spirit, which they should receive who believe in him. For as yet the Spirit was not given, because Jesus was not glorified. John seven thirty nine, The key which opens the channel of this blessed water is holy prayer, which obtains all good things in virtue of the promise. Quote, ask and you shall receive. We are weak and blind and poor and miserable, but prayer will obtain for us strength and light and wealth and happiness. Theodoret says, quote, prayer, though but one, can affect all things, unquote. He who prays receives all he asks for. God desires to give us his graces, but he desires that we should pray for them. O fountain of living water, O sovereign good, how often have I deserted thee for the defiled waters of the earth which I, which have deprived me of thy love? O oh, that I had rather died than offended thee! But for the future I will seek after nothing but thee, my God. Succor me and make me always faithful to thee. Mary, my hope, keep me always under thy holy protection. Spiritual reading, the sublime dignity of the priesthood. In his epistle to the Christians of Smyrna, St. Ignatius Martyr says that the priesthood is the most sublime of all created dignities. Quote, the apex of dignities is the priesthood. St. Ephraim calls it an infinite dignity. Quote, the priesthood is an astounding miracle, great, immense, and infinite. Unquote. St. John Chrysostom says that though its functions are performed on earth, the priesthood should be numbered among the things of heaven. According to Cassian, the priest of God is exalted above all earthly sovereignties and above all celestial heights. He is inferior only to God. Innocent III says that the priest is placed between God and man, inferior to God, but superior to man. St. Dennis calls the priest, quote, a divine man. Hence, he is called the priesthood, quote, a divine dignity, unquote. In fine, St. Ephraim says that the gift of the sacerdotal dignity surpasses all understanding. For us, it is enough to know that Jesus Christ has said that we should treat his priests as we would his own person. Quote, he that heareth you, heareth me. He that despiseth you, despiseth me. Luke 10, 16. Hence, St. John Chrysostom says that, quote, he who honors a priest honors Christ, and he who insults a priest insults Christ, unquote. Through respect for the sacerdotal dignity, St. Mary of Ogenes used to kiss the ground on which a priest had walked. 
The dignity of the priest is estimated by the exalted nature of his office. Priests are chosen by God to manage on earth all his concerns and interests. Quote, divine, says St. Cyril of Alexandria, are the offices confided to priests. Unquote. St. Ambrose has called the priestly office, quote, a divine profession. Unquote. A priest is a minister destined by God to be a public ambassador of the whole church, to honor him and to obtain his graces for all the faithful. The entire church cannot give to God as much honor nor obtain so many graces as a single priest by celebrating a single mass. For the greatest honor that the whole church without priests could give to God will consist in offering to him and sacrifice the lives of all men. But of what value are the lives of all men compared with the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, which is a sacrifice of infinite value? What are all men before God but a little dust? Quote, as a drop of a bucket, as a little dust. Isaiah 40, 15, 17. They are but a mere nothing in his sight. Quote, all nations are before him as if they had no being at all. Unquote. Thus, by the celebration of a single mass in which he offers Jesus Christ in sacrifice, a priest gives greater honor to the Lord than if all men by dying for God offered him the sacrifice of their lives. By a single Mass, he gives greater honor to God than all the angels and saints, along with the Blessed Virgin Mary, have given or shall give to him. For their worship cannot be of infinite value, like that which the priest celebrating on the altar offers to God. Moreover, in the Holy Mass, the priest offers to God an adequate thanksgiving for all the graces bestowed even on the Blessed in Paradise. But such a thanksgiving all the saints together are incapable of offering to God. Hence, it is that on this account also the priestly dignity is superior even to all the celestial dignities. Besides, the priest, says St. John Chrysostom, is an ambassador of the whole world to intercede with God and to obtain graces for all creatures. The priest, according to St. Ephraim, quote, treats familiarly with God. To priests, every door is open. Jesus has died to institute the priesthood. It is not necessary for the Redeemer to die in order to save <clears throat> the world. A drop of his blood, a single tear or prayer was sufficient to procure salvation for all. For such a prayer, being of infinite value, would be sufficient to save not one but a thousand worlds. But to institute the priesthood, the death of Jesus Christ has been necessary. Had he not died, where should we find the, viag the victim? that the priests of the new law now offer. Where find a victim altogether holy and immaculate, capable of giving to God an honor worthy of God? And, as has been already said, all the lives of men and angels are not capable of giving to God an infinite honor like that which a priest offers to him by a single mass. Concluding prayer, I give you thanks, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me. I make a firm purpose of my will that I may in uniformity with your divine will, O triune God, keep my resolutions and keep them well. For the love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life and rule of life, now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God, for the patience with which thou hast hitherto borne with me. I see that although I forgot thee, thou didst not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for having turned my back upon thee, and I am now resolved to give myself entirely to thee. And why should I delay that thou mayest abandon me, and that death may find me as miserable and ungrateful as I have been even until now? No, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O infinite goodness. Give me perseverance in thy holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory and for all poor sinners, particularly myself. In nomen de Patria, Fili, Spiritus Sancti, men, have a blessed morning and day, O slaves of Mary.